I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand application of rate of change and verify whether a given point is a maximum or a minimum. This video is very good for students in grade 12 doing advanced functions or pre-calculus course. Question is verify that the point given for the function is either a maximum or a minimum using difference quotient method explain your strategy. The function is f of x equals to x squared minus 4x plus 5 and the point is 2, 1. So let us find the slope of secant line using difference quotient at x equals to 2. That is to say we'll find what is f of 2 plus h minus f of 2 over 2 plus h minus 2 which is h, right? So that should give us the slope of secant line where h is very close to 2 okay so let's substitute 2 plus h for x so we get 2 plus h whole square minus 4 times 2 plus h plus 5 that is the first term f of 2 plus h minus f of 2 let's substitute 2 here so we get 2 square minus 4 times 2 plus 5 okay divided by h. Now let me expand 2 plus h whole square. What do we get? We get 2 square plus 2 times h plus h square and then 4 times 2 is 8 minus 8 minus 4h plus 5. That is the first term. The second term here is 2 square minus 8 plus 5. I have purposely not done the calculations. You will see that all the three terms in f of 2 will cancel out, right? So 2 square minus 2 square is 0, minus 8 minus 8 is 0, 5 minus 5 is 0, right? As normally is the case. Now we are left with 2h plus h square. 2 times AB, it has, it should be 4A, sorry, 2 times AB, A plus B whole square is what? A square plus 2AB, right? So it is 4 times H, not 2 times H, plus H square minus 4H over H, 4H minus 4H is 0, so we are left with H square over H, which is just H. So the slope is H, and we know H is a small is a point which has a very small value. So slightly away from 2 if we are looking for a tangent. So if we want a secant to be a tangent, it should be very very close to 2, right? So so we know that the slope of the secant when h is almost 0 becomes slope of the tangent and that is 0. Since the slope is 0, we know it is maximum or a minimum right so we can write here since m approaches 0 for h very small approaching zeros right secant has slope of 0 right that means we have either a maximum or a minimum well, there's another way of doing it, and that is we can consider a point which is on the left and on the right of 2. That is to say, what we're considering here is, let's say that is the point 2, x equals to 2, and h is 0 0.01 on the right side, right? Or it could be 0 0.01 on the left side, that means 1.99 99 right so h could be either plus 0 0.01 or we can take this as minus 0 0.01 so on the left side if i take h as minus 0 0.01 so the preceding slope will be how much so the m for h as negative is going to be minus 0 0.01 right and the following will be plus 0 0.01 correct therefore at 2 how much will it be in that case slope at x equals to 2 
will be minus 0 0.01 plus 0 0.01 divided by 2 which is 0 right so so it is 0 now since we also know from here our calculations that this slope here is negative right minus 0 0.01 is negative slope so basically a point which is before 2 we have a slope which is downwards negative means like this right and if we are considering a point which is on the right side of 2 slope is positive and that clearly shows that we have a minimum right at this point another way to say this is what we can do is we can find the value of the function at a point which is slightly less than 2 and slightly more than 2 that is to say that we can calculate what is f of less than 2 is 1.99 you can use calculator calculate this value so let us do that so we have within brackets 1.99 square minus 4 times within brackets 1.99 well brackets were not really required here plus 5 equals to let's do it in decimals 1.001 this point is 1.001 right which is more than 1 similarly let us calculate the value at 2.01 right so that means 2.01 square minus 4 times 2.01 plus 5 equals to plus 1.001 correct so we found that on either side the value is more than 1 and therefore at 2 we have a minimum so that is a very easy explanation of f of x being minimum at Two, correct I hope that helps so we have applied the strategy of difference quotient finding slope it is equal to h now depending on the value of h the slope could be positive or negative if we select a point which is on the left side of 2 that is h is negative the slope is going to be negative right if we select a point to the right side of 2 that means h is positive then it is going to be positive that means that the rate of change changes from negative to positive leading to a minimum at x equals to 2 correct so that's one reason second is we can find the value of the function at on either side we found on either side the value was higher than 1 since the value on either side is higher we have a local minimum at x equals to 2 so that is another explanation which you can give for the same i hope that helps uh, in the second video we will understand more strategies about finding maximum or minimum and providing reasons for the same thank you and all the best